Hi, it's me, Beard Grills. Man, I think, I'm not too sure. I was at sea for our Mahe Island in the Seychelles. I swam here for Mauritius because Mauritius was just too pleasant and enjoyable. So, thought I needed a new challenge and uh, get away from uh, the one person I did meet, but even that was too much for me. It's been rough going here. Getting here, I've already been dragged through the coral. Uh, you can see there, if you can see that. That's my, my foot there, in a bit of a bad way. I uh, have to piss on it later, which uh, can, I can also use as an appetizer for dinner. Now, uh, so I've actually made it to the shore. Uh, there's actually some people there, um, but they're tourists and uh, they make me a little nervous. And the danger with tourists is you get too close to them, you maybe get blasted by a stereo or maybe even suntan lotion on you and you become an unnatural color and you become an easy target for your prey. Now, I'm on the wrong side of the island. I think that civilization is across the other side of the bay. Uh, so I need to get there. And in the meantime, what I've done is I found these old uh, old palm leaves, and uh, it's not much, but I managed to arrange uh, some kind of shelter there. And sit, uh, sit in there. Oh, yeah, get the roof on. Some kind of protection from the sun. Give me a bit of shade and some conserve some energy for the for the voyage across the bay. Now, other things I need some some sustenance uh, to be able to make the trip across the bay. Things you can find on these kind of islands is just up here. You see a lot of a lot of jungle up there. Uh, so, but there are things you can eat. Up there, up here, and these uh, these coconuts themselves may be rotten, but just in the top there, oh, it's fallen off. Generally, you find them there. It is down there. Oh, there's another one. I take that one as a better, better example. See, just there, that's a, a cocoa de mer. It's a very taboo nut. Uh, it's an aphrodisiac in these parts, and indigenous to the Seychelles. This one's a little bit smaller than you'd expect. You just, you can pull it out. Not bad. Tastes a little bit muddy from the coconut earth in the top. And of course, they do smell a little bit like jism, which is why they're an aphrodisiac. And uh, so there's a few more of those around. There's the other one there. The one I dropped. Shouldn't waste that one. Also in these trees. And these trees are rotten as well. Because they're, because they're exposed to the sea so much. But uh, I'll just go back down. I'm gonna injure my leg again. I'll go back down. And uh, inside the rotten stumps, you'll often find uh, some, down in there, and here, some bugs, some grubs. So that you can see in there, you can see one poking his little head out. I just try and get him. They're slippery and they they have a bite on them. I find it difficult to get to that one, this one. They pull some of the some of the tree out. Oh there we go, there's one gone. Oh he's gone out of crevice. I'm gonna stick my hand in the crevice. It's gone in some nasty some nasty seawater, it's got some bits on it now, but I'll eat it anyway. Cheers. Oh, it's crunchy. Yeah. Some crunch. And seducer to that little fella. That's all gonna help me with my journey. Now I really need some proper meat. And another thing you can use these palm leaves for is disguise. So I'm gonna disguise myself with a palm leaf and Go hunting some real meat. There we go. Pop the, the palm leaf down my shorts like that. 
I can blend into the scenery as with the SAS scenery blending in training that I did when I was at school. So I've been tracking some time now an indigenous species called the water boy or the tree sapien. Now I need to get back up up the mountain face. Very difficult with a, a 10 foot palm inch palm tree stuck next to my penis but I'll try and I can't see now either. Oh, and it's digging into my scrotum and it's it's uncomfortably close to my anus but I'm up now I can I can stalk my prey they like to the water the water babies here on this island like to build nests for themselves and uh, sleep during the day they're nocturnal, so I don't think this one has seen me coming yet. So let's be quiet. And then we pounce. And I've got it. There's the water boy, the water baby. There it is. I've got it. I'll just remove its nest. There it is. And you just... It refers to me as daddy because it's lost its mother. I give it the Vulcan grip. That should keep it paralyzed for about five seconds, possibly eight. I get a coconut, I put the, ow, I put the coconut on her, and I'll keep her, put the coconut on its leg. Steady the camera a little bit. Coconut's on its leg. That should keep it in place for a while. If I need to return, then I've got some meat stored up that I can eat. Now, the last thing to do is make it across the bay. Now, a friend of mine once tried to hike across this bay, swam across this bay, sorry, and uh, he was in the Peace Corps. And the problem is you have water elephants in there and he got sucked into an elephant's trunk. And then the, uh, the elephant stuck its trunk up another bum, up another elephant's bum, and that's when shit got real. So I'm not going to do that. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to glide across the bay. Now you see the clouds there. Clouds with some, uh, some vertical development. That's a good sign of updrafts. So another good thing about these palm leaves, you can use them as wings, as did the early pioneers of aviation. So I'm going to get myself two wings and I'm going to glide across the bay. Break these wings up into something more manageable. I need two of them, ideally. One, oh, there's two. Okay. Got my two wings. It's time to fly. See you on the other side. Get out.